I'm here in the vineyards of Quinta de Noval in Portugal in the Douro Valley. Just tasted a range of amazing 2011 vintage ports. The best wine for me, the best vintage port was the Nacional. I gave it a hundred points. Perfect wine. This is like the amazing 1994 and the 1963 Nacional. We're in the vineyards now. These are vines that have been planted without any sort of rootstock. Original vine that goes all the way down. That's why it's called Nacional. I'm with the president of Nacional, Christian Seeley. Christian, tell me a little bit about the Nacional, why it's so amazing. Well, it's just this very small parcel of vines where uh, the ungrafted vines survive. And uh, we really don't know why. Uh, they, um, they, they, they grow with much lower yields than the rest of the vineyard. You're always working with low yields in port, but here you're working with about half that. And so from the, the two hectares of Nacional, we normally get uh, about 200, 250 cases. We, we've made just about 200 cases of the uh, 2011 Nacional. But why do you think it's different that uh, it's not grafted to American rootstock? What, what gives it that special character? Well, I think, first of all, the American rootstock tends to make the wines more vigorous. When you're in midsummer, if you go to the top of the Quinta and you look down, you can see the National Parcel, and uh, it's a different color. The, wi the vines are not so vigorous. The, the leaves are, are less uh, sort of um, bushy. And uh, when, you, when there are grapes, there's about half as many grapes on the vines. So you've got uh, intense concentration from the low yields. And, and the wine always has a different personality, as you know. Uh, we can have absolutely lovely Quinta de Noval vintage reports from the rest of the Quinta and a, and, a, and a Nacional. You taste the two and you say, the Quinta de Noval, that's a great vintage port. And then you taste the Nacional, it's just another thing. It has a totally different character. And I think that comes from the fact that the, the vines are ungrafted and they come from this very special place. And I find it's almost texture. It's the tannins, the richness. It's not a jammy wine. It's really, you can feel it in your mouth, that texture of tannin and acidity. Absolutely, and, and uh, there's something very consistent about Nationale. If you, if you ever have the fortunate experience of doing a little vertical of Nationale, there, there's a family resemblance between very old ones, uh, you know, quite mature ones, and the young ones. There's something on the nose that I think of as, as a, a distinctive Nationale nose, and uh, it, it's, uh, it's just unique to this very small place. And you can't make more of it? No, we can't make any more. And, uh, you know, 200 cases is not much for the whole world, but it, when, it's, when it's something so special, it, it's, a, it's a thrill to be able to be responsible for such a wine. Uh, it's also important to remember that the National doesn't always sing. There are some years, like in 2007 vintage, uh, which was a lovely vintage for, for Quinta de Noval, uh, we, we made a wine from this parcel, but it just wasn't outstanding, and so we, we didn't declare it as National. And, uh, uh, it's just like that. The Nationale marches to a different drum. When it wants to be great, it's really great. When it doesn't, it doesn't. And uh, I, I just find that wonderful because uh, it's, it's as if it decides when it wants to be great. Luckily for us, in 2011, it did. It's amazing. Thanks again. Thank you.